climate change? Come on, the climate has always changed. That's right, but something else is going on. It's the pace of the change. And in Charleston, it's as real as the floods in our streets. Okay, prove it. Well, it's really pretty simple. Human beings have pumped huge volumes of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, mainly by burning coal, oil, and gas. Yeah, but it's a big world. For sure, but we also have good data on CO2 levels. You measure it in parts per million, and over the past 800,000 years, our atmosphere typically had between 170 and 280 parts per million. Now we're at 415 parts per million. So you're saying we have more CO2 now than in the past 800,000 years? Exactly. Much more. And this traps heat. And more heat means warmer air and oceans. Okay. What does this mean for South Carolina? Higher sea levels for one thing. When water gets warmer, it expands. And it's expanding into our streets more than ever. Over the past century, the sea level has risen a foot in Charleston. And that's not all. Because of all that heat we've trapped, ice at the poles is melting. Think about a cocktail. When you drop ice cubes into a glass, the drink gets higher. We've dropped a ton of ice cubes into the ocean, so the pace of sea rise is accelerating. In just 30 years, the sea level in Charleston could rise at least another foot. And every inch means more flooding when you live in a place called the Low Country. Right, and that's not all. We're seeing more intense hurricanes and heavier downpours. Why are they heavier? Physics. A warmer atmosphere holds more moisture, and that moisture eventually falls in the form of heavier rainstorms. So yeah, the climate has always changed, but not like this. <laughs>